Hi, welcome to How to Repair. In this video, we're going to be dealing with a leaking soap box. In one of the previous videos I made, we had another hot point machine which was leaking from the hose which attaches to the soap box to the drum. But on this machine, as you can see, we've got water under the machine at the moment from the left hand side, and the machine is actually leaking from the soap box itself because the soap box is actually joined together. Uh, I'll show you where the leak's coming from and how to rectify the problem. So I've taken the lid off the machine and as you can see at this side this top half of the soap box is attached to the bottom half and because of either high water pressure or the actual soap box being clogged slightly water is coming out of the top here. This could just be a bad seal, it might be high water pressure uh, it doesn't sound like it's high water pressure, so I imagine the seal has actually gone inside here. And you can see water dripping from here and dripping from underneath. And that's the cause of the problem. So what I'll do now is take the machine off the workbench and show you how to take the soapbox out and reseal it and inspect it for any damage. Right, I've lifted the machine down. This is a very straightforward job. We actually need to remove the soap box out of the machine so we can split the soap box. So the first thing you need to do is remove the facial panel and the soap drawer itself. This just clips out. Be careful and always hold the actual facial panel as you pull this out because these have a pin problem which can break the plastic at the top. Inside here you've got two screws. Just need to give them a slight tap to get them out because they're on inserts. Now we need to remove the retention bar at the top. This can only go in one way because there's a location lug. Be careful of any clips that are holding the facial panel in place. And then just remove the electrics. There's a little clip on the back. And that just comes away. You now need to remove the cover. There's a little clip at the top and because this is a hot and cold fill uh, we'll need to remove two screws at the top here. Once you've removed this you need to push the clip down and just prise this away. This now gets the soap drawer released. Now we need to take the electrics off. So you can either take a photograph of the wiring, uh, but most of these plugs are always got lugs in them where they can only be put in in one position. So just pull the pins back and carefully pull the wiring up. At the front here you've got a band which is held onto the seal and then you'll need to prise this away and then the soap box comes out. It's a good idea when doing this job to actually take this hose off and reseal it. You can see this in a previous uh, video. I actually used D-ball glue to seal the hose to the drum because the manufacturer doesn't actually do this with a new seal. It normally has no problems at all, but as rubber gets old, it can deteriorate. So you may also have a leak from the hose, but as I said, you can see that in a previous video. Now here we have the actual box and you can see where it's been leaking from. It's been leaking from here, here, and I think over here slightly as well. There's a couple of clips, so we'll put that flat. Just carefully peel back these clips and ease the top part off. Thank you. 
and there we go. Now, as you can see, some hard water has been building up with the deposits over time. On a lot of machines, this machine isn't really that bad. It's just the actual seal that needs to be cleaned up. There's actually no rubber seal that goes in there. It's just a push fit and it doesn't look like the manufacturer uses glue on this either. So we're going to clean this completely up, dry it, and then I'm going to use D-ball glue to reseal this. It's also a very good idea to clean up all these holes because this is not a bad one. On some machines, if you're in a hard water area, the mineral content can build up so badly that it restricts the flow of water through these jets and you may have more water coming out of one jet than another and this also can cause a pressurization inside the soap drawer itself which can cause this to leak around the outside. Right, because we have some calcium buildup all around the joint here it's going to be quite difficult for me to get a good seal onto this so I'm actually going to strip off the water valves and I'm going to leave this soak for four or five hours at least in a descaler. I have bought some just normal Ost descaler from the supermarket and I'm going to use quite a uh, strong solution and I'll just quickly remove these water valves. There's four screws on these. On the others there might be only three. Just remove the two water valves and also make sure you take the seals out. Okay, just going to pour the solution and work it. into all the nooks and crannies. You can already see it working here. And I'm just going to pour some hot water just to make a couple of jugs of hot water just for this to soak in for a few hours and then we'll come back to it when we finished. Okay, as you can see we've left it a few hours now and I've cleaned up all the surface which is important all the way round. The descaler didn't remove some of the old soap powder because that's really burnt itself into the plastic but it has removed all the mineral content from the holes and everything all the way round. So make sure this is completely and utterly dry. In other words, give it a few hours. Now, what I normally do is put the sealant onto this side of the box because trying to squeeze it into the gaps down here are very tight and you might not get it all the way round. So, the outside part is the important. So we we'll just get it on all the surface. You can run your finger round after. And I'll do the inside as well. You don't need to put a lot on. Once you've got it on both surfaces, you can wet your finger, just put it round. And now we'll line the box up. And then just snap it into place. Make sure all the clips all the way round are down. And 
and we'll let that set for about 10 minutes before inserting the soap box. Right, once it's set we need to replace the water valves, put the seals on correctly the right way round, and then they just push into place. And then put the screws in. I do suggest only doing them up with a hand screwdriver. Don't use a cordless because you don't want to strip the threads. And you just do them up to hand tight and then quarter of a turn. And that way you won't be stripping the plastic. When inserting the soap box, it's a good idea to put just a little touch of detergent onto the hose plastic where the hose sits over this will make it slide on easier because it is a tight fit and it is quite awkward working as the front panel on these machines don't come off once you've got it on remember to put the clip back over And then connect the electrics. As I said, it can only go one way because these have location lugs. Make sure you get your plastic clips over the framework. And connect up the electrics. clips into place. Now we can put the bar on. Remember this can only go on one way. So that just clips underneath. Replace the two screws. I normally put the soap box on first before putting the cover on at the back because it's easier to manoeuvre. This goes in at the bottom first and then pushes in so that the clip locks at the top. Then just replace the screws. Now the only thing left to do is put the soap drawer in I've also cleaned this up. It's very important on the comfort side or the conditioner that you clean inside here and inside here because this is what causes the siphon uh, effect when you actually put your comfort into here. As water goes in, it creates the siphon. Now, when inserting this, do remember to hold the facial panel because as I said earlier, these are very brittle. And these pin systems can break on many occasions. Just check the door's all working, and now we can fire it up and check for any leaks. And as you can see, the machine is filling now, and it was leaking from the bottom and the side. It's now dry as a bone. And there you go, a nice simple repair. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helped you. And remember, you can buy the Devor glue on the links in the description above and the description below. Thanks very much indeed for watching. And remember, you can always support the website by buying a severe. Thanks again for watching.